My space heater stopped working. Oh, what is with the space heaters? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, that's not that's not even computer gore. That's just that's fire. That's straight up fire. Clearing coworkers' temp files today. 246 gigabytes. Yeah, that's not going in the recycling bin. That's getting immediately deleted. I don't even know what this is. This can't be video cache or something. They must have something redirected to the temp folder. Computer froze, boss. Now I know this is Photoshop because there's never been a Mac with good enough ventilation to run that cold. My PC shut off suddenly and won't turn back on. Yeah, um, the, the reason being is that it can't breathe. And that's why tech people don't believe you when you say this unless you've been working in tech a really long time. It happens, but but really, fairly rarely. Plugging in your USB receiver with a hammer for that flush mounted look. Oh, yeah, I actually probably uh, passed the statute of limitations, but I had a work laptop that had this. I use Logitech G602 mice, which have a receiver, and it was sticking out of the side. I was uh, doing a wireless survey in a construction area, and I dropped the laptop on its right side. Kind of jammed it in. It wasn't as bad as this, but still. I just left it in there. And since it was my laptop, like, nobody actually noticed. My friend drilled holes in his mouse to make it lighter so it would give him an advantage. Oh, so you tried to make a knockoff of those new mice with the... Air. Anyways, I don't think the holes are for weight. I think they're for airflow so your hand doesn't get sweaty and slip off the mouse. And number two, mice need to be lighter or heavier depending on the player. Like the G9X came with weights to make it heavier. And honestly, as a sniper, I was a better shot with a heavier mouse. Also, please just take a file to this. Just just make it a little bit smoother so it's not jamming your hand with plastic Wharf. Hospital server room. Yep, this, this looks done wrong from the beginning. Like whoever built this didn't realize that ethernet cables came in in different lengths and that you should order different lengths of cable in different quantities, not just 515 footers. But this will also happen in areas where downtime is really hard to get, like hospitals, because you you simply don't have time to rip out everything and run it all properly. Or when you're adding something, you can't unplug anything else because you'll bring down general surgery or something like that. Ticket said camera flickers to fuzzy brown image often. <laughs> yeah, the, the problem with really long range optics is that you can't tell what's in front of the camera, so it'll just look like the image went bad. I can't even. Yeah, yeah, this this happens with Xerox toner cartridges. I can't can't tell if that's a Xerox or a Canon, but uh, Xerox toner cartridges don't have a spring on the back door, which means that when you shove them in, the door on the back of the cartridge just opens. And if you pull it back out or if you rotate it at all, it just dumps all of the toner everywhere. Somewhat happened to me. I stopped it before it got too bad and really happened to one of my technicians. Customer came in with his iPhone. His glass cracked. He thought he could peel off the glass so he wouldn't notice the crack anymore. Yeah, uh, newsflash. Uh, wh what do you think is under the glass? Wi-Fi in the warranty department isn't working. Spot the problem. Uh, well, two problems. One, you're still using 2.4 gigahertz for something that isn't warehouse IoT. Uh, you're putting 2.4 gigahertz on top of a microwave and you're using a $60 TP-Link Archer whatever for an enterprise application. I'm sorry you asked me to spot the problem. Would you like me to continue? But but yeah, for those unaware, uh, microwaves are right around 2.4 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz is uh, the older Wi-Fi standard. There was, a, there was a time where you'd turn on the microwave and the Wi-Fi would go out. How the previous IT guy mounted the hard drive. It's 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 right. It's right there. That's a 3.5, right on the right? That's, that's where it goes. What is wrong with you? Okay, I might be wrong. That might be a 2.5 on the right. I, I, d still, get a conversion bracket or something. Person mistook LED polarizing film for a protective plastic film and uh, peeled it off. Oh. Good job, idiot! <laughs> For those uninitiated, Samsung batteries swell sometimes. The older ones, I'm not sure the fullest scope. I haven't been keeping up with it. But yeah, they swell and, and eventually they don't explode, but they just, they, they'll they pop and they'll leave lithium everywhere and can catch on fire. So it's kind of the perfect pillow print. I love this. My PC is low on space. Can you help? 234 gigs of temp. What is storing so much temp data? Like, do you guys have your downloads redirected? to temp and you're downloading gigs and gigs of god knows what and i don't want to know also update your damn computer your updates folder when sxs is caching 15 gigs of updates may god have mercy on my soul oh you sweet summer child you ain't seen nothing <laughs> I've probably cleaned out 30 or 40 of these, varying from two to five rack long, just same colored spaghettis. I, f I find them kind of fun. I don't know, it's satisfying once you're done. The cable of my favorite gaming mouse dragged along 300 miles of road hanging out of my car door by mistake. That's kind of cool, visually speaking. Uh, I'm sorry about your mouse, but maybe you will, you know, recognize wireless supremacy now. 
Hmm? I pick up a stack of busted iPads almost every week from one of my middle schools. Yep, that, that, that'll do it. Yeah, people were complaining about the 10th gen iPad not having uh, the sealed edge around the screen, basically. And, and they do that because they sell hundreds of thousands of these to government, schools, all that stuff. And they need to be easily repairable because of this. Because kids have no idea how to treat electronics and neither do adults. One of my coworkers was eager to unpack her new mouse. I'm not gonna blame your coworker for this because clamshell packaging needs to die in a fire. And especially with wired devices, if they run the wire through any area of that clamshell packaging that is outside of the radius of the product, they deserve it. They should give you a new free mouse. That's just stupid. Oh, and can you check the speaker? Uh, it sounds a bit muffled. The, uh, the, uh, so, uh, by the way, back to the Samsung battery thing. Apple also has ba swelling batteries. This is this is not unique to Samsung. And I can't tell if this is lithium dust from the battery or if this phone was in a construction environment or if they really, really, really just like sugar. Yes, sugar. My mom didn't like the yellowed color, so she decided to put nail polish on the printer despite my objections. Oh my God, please stop. But also in defense of your mother, and I, I know I'm saying I'm the one saying this, I had that exact printer in college. And yeah, that, that yellowed, Gold, they were going for like a gold or something. It was ugly as hell. So like, this is actually an improvement, but please don't do this to your electronics. Enjoying my new two terabyte USB 3 external hard drive. Okay. I right, I just bought one of those from Santa skin off. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is why I only buy from, you know, reputable disc manufacturers. If your media isn't from SanDisk or Lexar or Sony or one of the big companies, it's it's probably a piece of crap. If you've never heard of the company, or if all they seem to make is one specific same looking USB drive, it's probably fake. My fan was making too much noise. I will end you. I will end, I will find you and I will end you. Customer states uh, she could not copy files on the $60 two terabyte SSD from Amazon. For anybody unfamiliar, that is an extremely cheap price. And yeah, it's a knockoff Kingston uh, <laughs> USB drive in almost the same case we saw before. For price reference on sale, I just bought a one terabyte SanDisk SSD for my video capture device for about $109. And I think the two terabyte was 219. So 60 bucks, not, not the correct price. <laughs> I was wondering why my computer had blue screens. Now I am wondering why my computer was able to boot up at all. That's some fantastic memory uh, redundancy there. I guess it wouldn't really matter as long as it's not writing to that particular sector of the memory at that particular time. The printer isn't working. Oh my f God. Oh my God, I do not miss help desk. Service down. <laughs> oh yes it is. Uh, somebody should probably give it some encouraging words. Professional cabling at Pepsi. Oh my God. Yeah, see, when you're building this, there would be traces of it being done properly and then it getting messier over time. But again, Pepsi, one of those places where downtime is probably at a premium because downtime means you're not making soda. Client was upset her iPhone wasn't working properly. Diagnosis, not actually an iPhone. Oh, oh. what? <laughs> That's a really extensive copy. Like, I guess the first tip off is iPhone S. What do you mean iPhone, iPhone what S? But they they went for the logo, they went for the design. Usually they, they try to steer clear of copyright laws, but man, they just went all out. Why is there a pillow inside my tablet? Oh no! Oh, that's not a pillow. Well, it is a pillow. Just a pillow of toxic fire. It didn't plug in, so I bent the pins to make it fit. Uh, there are different types of DVI. Stop. I had a uh, uh, client once that routinely broke RJ45 ports, the internet port on laptops, by shoving uh, HDMI and USB cables into them. USB kind of fits. HDMI does not fit at all and would just wreck everything. My flash drive won't show up and I've literally tried everything. Oh my God. Oh my God, what did I just say? What did I just say? See, USB kind of fits in the RJ45. It's 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 a shove, but it'll do it. AT&T has no idea why their DSL service is so poor. It must be my wires in my house. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, they just don't they don't care enough to maintain DSL. And for those of you laughing in the back, there are areas of the US where DSL is literally all you can get. I now live in semi-rural Pennsylvania. My relatives live in rural Pennsylvania and the only thing you can get is DSL or satellite. And satellite's $100 a month for a five gig data cap. So yeah, DSL is unfortunately still relevant. I thought that r slash tech support Gora would appreciate this. Connect for 
<laughs> hey, the cable management on that is better than some of the other things we've seen today. Phone will not charge without pressure, so I made this. I mean, I'm actually not against this for like a few day fix, like if you're waiting on an appointment or something to get your phone fixed. This is something I do. I'd be like, screw it, I'll just loop it around the phone and, and like electrical tape it on the back just to get it so that I can use it for a few days. Permanent fix? No, 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 no. When you have a VGA card with bad RAM, a VGA card, a graphics card with a VGA port? Uh, it can cause valid drives. I mean, that that's a whole J, like that. I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna diagnose this. I don't, I don't care enough. PSN for HDMI replacement. Kid said, I pushed the cable in a little too hard. A little, just a little, just a tiny little bit. The gore here is that this is still being used daily by my customer. Refuses to upgrade. Do, do they do they have specific like industry software or something? Or are they a writer? Genuinely, these are the two classes of people I found that it's either BMS software tied to the building that costs god ungodly amounts to upgrade, uh, or they're writers. I don't know why writers like really old computers, not keyboards, really old, just really old computers, like an artist rendition of anxiety. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, yeah, this is this is pretty bad, but still, like this just teaches you to trace cables. Like it's bad, it's a mess. Yes, it's terrible, but like you should still be able to find a patch in like a minute or two. Like it shouldn't take you that long. Like fix fix it. Yes. Found on the Facebook page of a computer repair service, captioned "Fixing a computer." <laughs> what the? What are you doing? Why, why are you soldering? I remember that soldering iron. It was my first one. It's cheap as hell, but but it works. Um, what what are you do? Why is the computer still on? Are you are you seriously like repadding a space bar or something over there? Oh my god! I refuse to believe they're just making this up because that would be even stupider to like go into an area full of people that know what they're doing and be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing too. Trying to place the GPU without unplugging the PC. Oh my god. I almost don't want to read this. I almost, okay, fine. I tried putting my new graphics card in and couldn't get the other one out. I then stopped because I began to smell smoke and actually see it. What, what, what? Did, did you unplug your PC? N no, why would I do that? <laughs> oh yeah, why would you do that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm with QK Rays on this. Just holy shit. I heard he said, hey, 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 hey. Hey, I work in IT, finding this in the server room made my day. Yes, there is. there has been a hammer in my old jobs IT department for almost 20 years. And I took it with me when I left and the place is now falling apart. So maybe, maybe the, the hammer had something to do with it. But yes, it was the fixer. It's just like anytime there was a particularly difficult problem, I would just get up from my desk and be like, all right, I'm gonna look at it. And one of my coworkers would just lift up the hammer and be like, take the hammer. <laughs> This is why you should restrict access to the server room before firing your IT guy. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh wait, restrict access to the server room before firing your IT. Oh, so you fired your IT guy and you didn't immediately escort him out of the building. Boy, what did you fire him for? Cause uh, in 90% of cases, you probably deserved this. For legal reasons, this is not something I would do. For legal reasons. In the 10 years I've been in IT, this takes a cake. I'm trying to figure out what's, I'm genuinely trying to figure out what's going on here. It just, it just looks like a really dirty computer. Oh, there's a second picture. Oh God. Oh no, 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 no. Burn that crap with fire. Oh God, they didn't realize there were two pictures. Oh, oh, oh no, man, F that. Don't touch, <laughs> like uh, underneath the screen of a lot of older laptop screens. Uh, there's something called an inverter that would amp the power up for the uh, compact fluorescent bulbs that were behind the screen before LED and IPS screens were around. Uh, and yeah, it would take your laptop power and it'd amp it way up to get the fluorescence going. And yeah, it would hurt. So I like the fact that somebody probably actually touched that on a laptop that should not have been in production to begin with and found out the hard way not to touch inverters. <laughs> what mandatory sanitizing at work did to my brand new $2,000 laptop last winter. <gasps> No. Yeah, no, there, I, I have never been to a place. I have heard of places, but I've never been to places that like will take your laptop for any reason. I hear Duke University does it. I just wouldn't bring that laptop to the school or it, it would stay in a bag or something because there's no way in hell you're taking any of my personal gear. If you want to sanitize and do something particular to a computer, you will be buying that computer for me and I will be using it and then giving it back to you because you're not touching 
my personal crap. If I have to, I will buy a cheap Chromebook and be like, yes, this is my laptop, here you go. And then you can ruin that. It's 2022 and I hate SanDisk for still using a design like this. What? Why? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, wow, that's a very specific hatred. <laughs> okay, if it's... Some people get very mad over very specific things. I guess it's kind of annoying, I guess, but whatever. They also sell the tiny ones that are literally the nano ones that are the size of a USB port. Like, just buy the ones you want. <laughs> Sorry. Work for local high school. Oh, goody. The disk drive wasn't working. Probably been there since 2012. <laughs> yes. Good job, random student from 10 years ago. This this kind of stuff makes me happy. Yes, it's annoying to the IT team, including even if I worked on the IT team. Somebody played a prank and they got away with it for like 10 years. Good job. Like, well done. You had some fun. When a teacher decides to buy and install a screen protector on their own. <laughs> I'm, I'm, they're not They're not harming the device though. Like... I can't install those things for the life of me. I, I have to enlist the help of my wife who actually has steady hands. But this this is fine. Like, just peel it off. My grandpa thought his headphone jack was a screw hole. <laughs> why, why would... Okay, I have questions though. Like, why would you need to put a screw in it? Like, did he think there was a screw there and it fell out and like the phone was going to fall apart? <laughs> did this guy work on F-18s by any chance? I know that's a very obscure joke, but <laughs> look at the nose of an F-18 the next time you're in an aircraft museum. Faulty SD card in a Raspberry Pi at the cinema. They're using a Raspberry... Ha 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 they're using a Raspberry Pi as, as, as digital signage, which is a great application. Digital signage is like stupid expensive and they usually want you to pay yearly for it. And a Raspberry Pi is like oh, 60, 70 bucks. But yeah, you know, just, just set up an IP monitor so that you know if one goes down and then you can go replace it or just turn off the screen until you get a replacement in. Pretty easy. Anyone want to guess what happened to the server? This is a server. Yes, really. Do not close lid. I, 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 I'm getting no hints about the server. I've used laptops as servers for years, mostly when I was in late college and like my first years of being out of college and had no money. So yeah, I'm not getting any hints on what happened to the server. I'm going to go with somebody turned it into a toaster because that makes me happy. Single Cat 5 cable holding up a rack. Bless you. Bless you, random Cat 5 cable. Strong stuff. Not that I'd trust that much, but oh my god. What happened? How how did you not bolt this down? Oh my god. I work in infrastructure now, which is basically servers and racks and stuff. That, that kind of stuff. And I used to work in networking, which was the cables itself. And oh god, every part of this hurts my soul. End user had a heater uh, next to the PC, which was randomly shutting off. And she thought she had smelled burning a couple times. It is literally screaming. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> it was thermally shutting down, being like, please stop. And you melted this poor Lenovo uh, Think Center or whatever their desktops are called. Opened up a cheap calculator today to find out the solar strip was just a piece of plastic <laughs> that's not connected to anything. What? Oh my god, you're right. Did they just put a battery in here that like had enough juice for them to just know it wasn't gonna need it? Or someone unplugged something and now the office internet doesn't work. Yeah, you hear that sound? The sound of screaming? The sound of screaming in your dreams for weeks to come? Yeah, that's Lexi haunting you for touching something. Still though, if you work IT in this area, you should know where your uplink is, at least. But you also better be prepared for the network engineer to come bearing down on you full speed, possibly armed with a hammer. First day on the job, set up those four wireless speakers for you. <laughs> what? For what? Reception? <laughs> Did he really think that was for like the wireless signal or something? I like how everybody else is standing around like this is a perfectly normal thing. And uh, sorry, dude, you're fired. User spilled coffee on his laptop, so he put it in the oven to dry it out. Oh my god, oh my god, why are people so stupid? God, it looks like chips, like the worst chips ever. It's a ThinkPad too, you bastard. Oh, you piece of absolute human garbage, you cooked a ThinkPad. I hope Taco Bell gets your order wrong for the next 10 years. I need somewhere to set this candle. Oh, here's a good spot. Christ. MK, why did you assign me this subreddit? <laughs> I know which of you assigned it to me. I'm coming for you and I don't sleep. To ensure maximum keyboard stability, HP decided 57 screws was the magic number for the X360. It, it's, it's HP. Like, I'm sorry, were you expecting some sort of competence or adequacy or general forethought? <laughs> 
None of those are their strong points. Their strong points is it's cheap. All our data center equipment started firing off temperature alarms. Oh no. Unrelated, our cleaning staff was doing a deep cleaning of our data center after a flood. Uh, is your cleaning staff trained in data center cleaning? Because... Uh, <laughs> yes, let's cover what is essentially an oven with plastic wrap. How could it possibly go wrong? Yeah, at, at our at my old job, I specifically locked the cleaning staff out of the data center for other reasons. One of which was unplugging crap. If if you had a flood and you need that area deep cleaned, you get a, a trained data center cleaning crew, a specialized cleaning crew of some sort. IT manager's workstation. User one is the domain. <laughs> Password hint, the same as the login name. This domain's entire existence hangs on user one, user one, on Windows 7. Do you feel secure yet? I'm trying to extract the data off this laptop hard disk. I've got it as far as taking the drive apart. Well, you won't be extracting any data, well, will you? Uh, do I need to take the disk off the spindle or leave it on there? Also, what drive recovery hardware and software do I use? That's my next. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yes, I know my thumbprints on it, but I'll scrub them off. <laughs> this has to be a troll post. This has to be a troll post. This, this can't be. Oh my God. Yeah, there's a very thin layer of air between the disc and the head. And if you open the drive, that balance is upset and you probably aren't gonna be getting a lot of data off the disc unless you know exactly what you're doing and can get the head to ride just right across the top of the magnetic uh, disc. Uh, place, place, you're screwed. Efficient electrical ground. This is genuinely what I thought ground meant when I was like five. I got like an electronics workstation lab thing when I, for, for my fifth or sixth birthday. And I thought they meant ground, like there was just a tiny rock underneath the kit. And that was just like ground. Like it was just some random dirt. User calls about disk being stuck in another computer meant it's offhand about this laptop. They had been using and charging it like this for weeks. Congratulations, your laptop is a bottom 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 but a bomb. And get the hazmat suits. Toshiba, leading innovation. Directly into Graham Town. God, that's disgusting. User dropped it walking to the car. It came in the day after the Super Bowl. Did did their team lose? Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. My friend kept this in his bedside table. Literally a bomb. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, literally, objectively a bomb. Say hello to Big Bertha. A 1.69 terabyte text file with over 108 billion lines. Good, good lord. Did you dump an entire SQL database to a text file? Also, this would be completely useless because there would be no way to like easily parse it in a reasonable amount of time. But I like it this way. It's convenient. My tech savvy aunt. You know, she might be onto something like built-in fold down kickstand from the back of the phone. You know, maybe it would make phones actually look different for once in the last like 10 years. I should tell them it's not a touch screen. No, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> ancient Temple of Asus. Genuinely does look like ruins of an ancient civilization. When I was little, I used to take micro machines and drive them through like computer PCBs because my dad just had computer junk in the garage and pretend they were tiny cities. So you know what? This lines up perfectly. I fully endorse it.